Today I want to do kind of like a recap of all the procedures that I have done recently. Please guys, stay with me. Disclaimer. This video for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a doctor or a nurse. This is no training or tutorial. Do not do this procedure at home. Always seek professional advice. Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for clicking on this video. My name is Aksana and today I want to do a recap of all the procedures that I did recently. It's about a month since I opened this YouTube channel and I would like to say thank you so very much for everybody who is supporting me on my journey. I truly, truly appreciate guys all your feedback and sharing of your personal journey of self-improvement. And usually I look quite, you know, rough on camera. It's very seldom that you can see me with my makeup. Today is actually is my second video when I have somewhat makeup on my face. And I wanna do a recap of all the procedures that I have done recently. And in this way, I can tell you about the downsides of all this procedure, of um, side effects, if I got any side effects, of results, if I'm really happy with the result, or do I think it's a great idea, or I think it doesn't work it at all, and will I continue with some of my uh, treatments. And I'm gonna start with uh, PDO treads and everything with the treads that I have done to my face and to my neck. By the way, guys, talking about uh, PDO treads and everything that I have done to my face, when I start doing my DIYs, and as I said, I'm about a month on the YouTube, but I actually started doing all these DIYs almost two and a half months ago. I just filmed, but never really posted on the YouTube. So therefore, don't think that I'm pretty much every week doing some kind of, you know, needles to my face. No, that's not what's happening. But before I actually start doing DIYs, it's about a year ago, actually not about, exactly a year ago, in March 9, uh, 2019, I did uh, PDO treads on my um, uh, chin and jawline at the professional office. It's been done by medical professional and by a doctor. And I actually document all that about a year ago, but obviously never posted. I'm thinking of doing the next video after this one, kind of documentary uh, of all those threads that I did about a year ago. Obviously, you're not gonna see any procedure, but what I'm trying to say in very awkward way, DIY and done in professional office it doesn't mean that when it's done in professional office you're not gonna have any gathering or poking of the needles or um, bruising because I got all of that a year ago and it's been done by a doctor and by no means I'm not trying to put down the doctors it just it's just the nature of the process. You will get some bruising. If you're not gonna get bruising, you're really lucky. 99% of the time, you're gonna get some bruising or swelling. But let me start with actual procedures that I have done on myself. First, I started with very tiny threads. They're um, 30 gauge, 25 millimeters, and I started under my chin. I put about just the five threads under my chin. Then, and actually that one you can watch in my video when I said introduction to myself, uh, talking about myself and kind of throw back at my first um, threads. Then I did a few of the same tiny threads on my jawline. Then I did thicker threads. They're 26 gauge, 38 millimeters. And I did on my jawlines, two on each side. And then I did three and three to in total six on my mid face. So let's just talk a little bit in more details about um, 26 gauge, 38 millimeters. And they're screw threads, so they're definitely given the volume. The things that I noticed, first let me talk about the improvements and then I'm gonna talk about the downside. So the improvements is a definite. It's definite. Once again, I'm gonna link the video, guys. If you want, you can watch that video. 
but what I noticed, obviously with the agent process, if you see, it's almost like a tear through this line when you have start getting almost like a division of the cheeks, almost in two. Like, you know, in older people, you get this. Maybe I'm gonna include some picture of somebody like really old where this line is very visible. So it's kind of the face start getting divided in two. You have this part, which is sagging, and then you have this part. And what I noticed with these threads, and I just put, as I said, on each side, just the three threads, 26 gauge, 38 millimeters, this line is almost start disappearing. And I'm definitely, definitely wanna add more of those threads into my cheek line, into my cheek. So those screw threads I absolutely love, absolutely love. Then I did about, um, 20 to 30 treads once again tiny 30 gauge 25 millimeters on my uh, neck and I didn't film that one I don't have that video on my YouTube but I definitely see some improvements slight improvement of uh, the texture of the neck but as I said it's a long process you're not gonna see improvement in a couple of days or even a couple of weeks it takes time to see that major improvement. Then I did a side of the face lift and it was once again very gentle. It was just 30 gauge, 25 millimeters uh, threads and I did 10 on each, this side and 10 on this side. Once again, love the improvement but I have to tell once again that it's it, it's a process. It doesn't mean that I did these threads and all of a sudden I have an effect of face lift. Definitely not. But am I happy with overall improvements of my face? I'm absolutely happy with whatever I did already to my face. Very, very happy. So when it comes to the skin boosters, I did Miracle Age once again on my neck and it's improved the, the dryness of my skin. But those little bumps, like, you know, the, the bumps all over the uh, middle of the neck, they're still, if I look closely, like this is my magnifying mirror over here, and if I look closely, uh, in the magnifying mirror, I still can see it. Most likely on the camera, you won't be able to see it, but there is uh, some um, uh, tiny bumps still visible on my neck. It's uh, the way I see it, it has to be at least every two, three months, kind of like boosting up the skin. That's why most likely it's called skin booster. <laughs> so you need that boost almost every two, three months to keep your skin beautiful, young and fresh. Then recently I did a uh, touch BR and the texture of that uh, booster is much thinner comparing to Miracle Age because the Miracle Age is definitely a thicker te texture and uh, i did all over my face under my eyes and i did specifically in the lines like you know those lines that you have like i have on my neck and what and i did on my chest area once again i see definite improvement in my skin textures and brightening of the skin but do i think that one treatment is enough definitely not even if you see on the websites they are recommending and i got that product from viana care um they're recommending at least session of five to see major improvement of the skin so this is the procedures that i did uh, so far oh i almost forgot i did also uh, my lips but i just did very very tiny five um threads on my lips they're once again 30 gauge 25 millimeters and that's about it so i think that i'm gonna need to do a little bit more for my lips and that's what i plan to do as well and i did also some tiny um there what is it it was a 29 gauge 38 millimeters a couple of uh threads on each side and underneath of my uh, chin those ones also i did but they're once again they're thick they're not thick like a screw threads so that's what i did so far on my neck on my face etc and the last procedures that i did i did just uh, around my eyes I did 30 gauge 25 millimeters and I did five on each side they in my humble opinion um, a little bit too long 
around the eyes and I'm planning to do 13 millimeters around my eyes I already got some product from Ace Custom and that's what I'm gonna do in the next few videos when it comes to around my eyes the downside I noticed like little especially in this corner I have almost like a springing uh, effect of one of the threads on this eye I was kind of a little bit worried more but it turns out much better than the eyes that I didn't worry about. If I'm gonna come closer to the camera, let me see if it will be able to focus. I hope it will be able to focus. You can see kind of like right there, little bit of the tethering of the thread and that, and maybe a little bit under this eye, but that's about it. But overall, I'm extremely, happy guys because as i mentioned i'm in my 50s and i definitely you know trying to look as young as possible and quite often obviously we have to worry about our skin but quite often it's also about the attitude you know keeping young and you know positive <laughs> let's put it this way i guess that's it for today if you like the video guys please don't forget to give me likes because it's definitely improving my chances on youtube uh, universe subscribe to my channel i definitely appreciate everybody who subscribed to my channel and join me on my journey and i guess that's it for today and i will see you on my next one bye bye